Is it me? Or are those who like to tag others? Have they got a really short memory? Hmm? Because I think so. I think Nigel Farage mm -hmm, has got a very short memory. And what happened? He's booped the old like button. Like you say, he's just been attacking Labour, all right? Because apparently Labour activists are going to uh, the United States to canvas for the Harris campaign and not the Trump campaign. Now, regarding Nigel Farage, what a flipping hypocrisy. This is another day, another drama. Nigel Farage has lashed out at Labour to, uh, today after it transpires that a number of activists from Sir Keir Starmer's party are jetting off to the US to canvas for Kamala Harris. To ref the Reform UK leader has blasted Starmer's army over the revelation. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Even accusing Labour of direct interference in the presidential election. They don't criticise Elon Musk, does he, for direct interference in the, in the presidential elections? No! Even Elon Musk is doing exactly that on the Twitter platform, plus he's paying out a million quid in a sweepstake. Anyone who wants to, uh, you know, uh, vote for <laughs> Donald Trump. <laughs> Bribes! So Farage foomed this morning that this is uh, a direct election interference for the governing uh, Labour Party. And Donald Trump, uh, if he wins, who is, pay uh, who is paying for all of this? It's certainly an interesting move. And what, you know, if he moves, if, so if, if Donald Trump wins, oh, crikey, what does it look like? Oh, crikey, it's like, yeah, against Donald Trump. They had a flippin' dinner party with him for two old hours, eating McDonald's and uh, chocolate cake or something. You know, it's not as though the Labour Party hasn't engaged with Donald Trump. OK, now they're campaigning for, uh, you know, all the activists. It's not exactly the Labour Party. These are activists. These are individuals. They're part of a group that supports Labour. But also, they also support Kamala Harris. Of course, they can do whatever they bloody well like. You know, they're just activists. It's ridiculous. And what hypocrisy. What did flippin' Nigel Farage do? Each time Donald Trump is doing his flippin' rallies. When he lost last time, yes, he was given the sack. Huh? Nigel Farage was here. It was there, wasn't he? And what did he do just recently? Travel over to support Donald Trump. He went there as well because Donald Trump had an imaginary uh, wound to his ear that healed within seconds. Yes, it looked like ketchup splattered across his face. What a load of bollocks that was. If you ask me, that was not, <laughs> that was not an assassination attempt. That was a setup. It reminds me of the film Shooter with Mark Williams in it, you know? The setup. That's what it is. I used to be watching too many movies. <laughs> so, anyway, my point is what the heck does Flippin' uh, Nigel uh, Farage, what's he playing at? If, quite frankly, he does exactly the same thing. Or has he got just got that very short memory? The man's a complete and utter hypocrite and an asshole. Asshole, you are, Nigel Farage. And as for that uh, poor young lady who threw that milkshake, who could end up going to jail over that, because the judge has said we're not going to go like sentencing is, is about to be done. Uh, well, quite frankly, Peter wasn't suffered a bit heavier. Sorry, I know I shouldn't say that, but crikey, that man is dangerous. And people like that have taken lives. Now, you might not say that so, but in Burnley, they have taken lives. We've got individuals in the farming sector who have committed suicide. Suicide because of Brexit, even though they voted for it. Look that one out. Their businesses are failing, their farms are failing, and they're just farming, there's other sectors as well. There's families that are broken up and split right down the middle and still not talking to each other. You know, it's just evil. Brexit is evil, Nigel Farage is evil, and we need to make an example of them. May we make an example of them, like it did my ancestor, Robert Kett. How drawn court it might be. Oh, crikey, that sounds like I'm endorsing uh, a corporate punishment. I'm not actually, no, I don't, I'm not endorsing that. That's just, oh, maybe that's just a dreamy thought. I don't know. <sighs> I know, put them in stocks. That'll do. Put them in stocks and throw rotten apples at them and tomatoes and the odd cabbage. Maybe a lettuce. Ask Liz Trust, she'll supply them. Anyway, it's time for me to go, so I do lose But please people don't like, but maybe uh, support the channel. <laughs> it's Patreon or buy us a coffee. And no, I'm not endorsing flipping. 
hangings and stuff, no. Um, but yeah, it's just it's, it's just a dreamy thought, okay? Oh, you know, it wakes me up at night. So, we're also in the rewild in Kevin France. We're replanting those trees on this field here. There's also another field over there and it goes down into the valley, which is actually two fields actually over there. Um, and if you'll be a part of that, there's GoFundMe link down below, and I'll part a tree on your behalf. And uh, I'll make a sign to go with the tree. You can remember your loved one, you can just your name if you like, remember the family, or give me a gift for Christmas, or a pet, you name it. But we're also making loads of bat boxes and other animal habitats as well. Because I can, because I'm a woodworker, you know. So there you go. Oh, put my microphone shut, look at that. It's stupid, I'll keep going in my face. <laughs> anyway, toodaloo.